This is a question October 1841, varying in question number five, mechanics. And we have acting three forces, 15, 25, and 30. Angles mentioned here, clear. So we have two components, one acting, uh, you can say that, one acting uh, this parallel to X axis and one parallel to Y axis. Similarly here, parallel to X and parallel to Y. So we can, we can do it now, inshallah, easily. So he said that find magnitude. So first of all, I'm writing Rx. So Rx is what I said before, right side is a positive, left side is negative. And this has become what? 15 cos 40. And this top is a 15 sine 40. Okay. All right. And this is a 25 and 30. So if I can write it here, 25 cos 30. And top is 25 sine 30. All right. It has no component because acting downwards. So no, no change. So 15 cos 40 minus 25. Wait a minute. It is, it is in front of it. So Rx is 15 cos 40 minus 25 cos 30. Okay. If I calculate. 25 cos uh, 40 and this 30, sorry, this 30 and is a 15. So my answer is, uh, okay, I'll write fine later on and RY. RY is upward, positive, downward, negative. So 15 sine 40 and plus 25 sine 30 and downward is 30 acting, so minus 30. So I got a Ry even. So I am calculating very quickly for 14 times 2 cos 40. 15, sorry, minus 25 times 2 cos 30. And its value is coming uh, negative 10.1599 Newtons. Okay. And similarly, 15 sine 40 and plus 25 sine 30 and minus uh, 30. It is it is coming uh, it is coming negative seven point seven point eight five eight two. All right, both negative. And wait a minute, let me check once again uh, because fifteen cos forty. Yes, okay. And this one, no no problem. Correct. Okay. Now what is the R? I I said before whenever we have this kind of thing comes, so we have to make a uh, we have to make a uh, like both are negative. So. Rx negative means left side. Ry negative means downwards. So we have this kind of triangle coming. So this and this. So this is a negative 10.15. And 99. And this is negative 7.8582. Negative sign, you, you put it on the bottom. This is called resultant force. R square is equal to Rx squared plus Ry squared. And I'm finding in the like this. So negative 10.1599 whole square and plus negative 7.8582 square. And answer is coming here with us 12.8 Newtons, which are perfectly same. Okay, now I think clear. Now find direction. Sir? Yeah. Uh, sir, why do you always take uh, the... Uh, X and Y components as um, like in four decimal places. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. good, good, good. Good, question. good question. This is for uh, for accuracy only. You know, just before oh, one, okay. uh, one student asked me, uh, one student asked me about uh, if I don't use so. So uh, yes, please. I can use even four DP or it's just for accuracy only. No other concern. Okay, no other reason. So let's talk about direction. How to find direction? So this is angle theta here. We get it, theta angle. This is theta degree. So theta degree is coming here. Uh, okay, so we can write it here. So how to find this theta? All of you know, tan inverse opposite by adjacent opposite is 7.8582 by uh, 10.1599. So if I find theta tan inverse, it is coming 37.7, okay. But now what is direction I take? This is actually that I got a theta. But when I need direction, what to mention? 
So for your knowledge, I think I, I discussed before and repeat again today. So when this is from here till here is called direction. And actually, let me tell you, mostly, you know, mostly we take what is pattern we have. We have a reference point even, AB line. We can say below AB also, below AB line. Look at this AB line here, this AB line. Or, or what two patterns are there? Sometimes we teach the north, with the north, with the north, what is the bearing criteria? We have two rules and third rule is from positive x-axis. I repeat, positive x-axis we can write also. So no trouble at all. So it means direction is coming 180 plus 37. 0.7 and it is coming equal to 180 plus 37.7. So it is coming 217.7 and must write with x axis. Okay, this is a compulsory must write direction. I think first part is very, very clear. I'm sure it has no confusion. Confusion is part two only. So, first of all, I think make sure if uh, you want to take a screenshot, let's go for the next part number two. So let's turn part number two, question 50 here we have. So in the worksheet 51, part two, I'm starting. Okay, a little bit tricky, okay. The force of 51, 15 Newton is now replaced. So this force gone. So this force, you have to remove it. So no, this force is not, not available here. And he said that replaced by F force. So he replaced by F force. It means that he changed this F15 by, by simple F Newton force. Okay, let me... It will break down. Okay, now all right. So he what he done? He removed this force 15 and he made here F force. Okay. Now he said um, uh, in the same direction. At, so it means this 40 degrees not changed at all according to question. So new resultant force has zero component in this. This is a major line and most important line here. He said the new resultant force has zero component in the direction of BC. So this is called direction of BC. This is a BC direction. It means this component is zero. So what I can say that it means it has a new resultant force has a zero component in direction of BC. So I think I can say here that rightward force and leftward force is balancing each other. I repeat again, it has some vertical components, okay? But it has zero component, a rightward for effect and leftward. So they are balancing each other. So if, if you got this point, so I can say clearly that it has two component has, I show you this force and this force, similarly this force. Okay. And we talk about the other force even. So this force. Okay. Now con concentrate here. Um, okay. Carefully. So, so this is called what? F cos 40. And what about this? 25 sine so cos 30. Okay, according to plan, according to plan, so this force and this force equal to each other. Why? Because he said that no component uh, Rx is zero. According to the question, Rx is equals to zero. In this sense, I can say leftward force equal to rightward force. Very, very clear. So I can find F from here, all right? So it's becoming um, 25 cos 30 and divided by only cos 40. And I got the angle, so for force 28.2629, but in rounding, it becomes 28.3 Newton's force. Okay, one part is done. So he said that find the value of F, we got it, alhamdulillah, and find also magnitude direction of the new, new force. Common sense here, because whenever you find R, so R square equal to Rx square and plus Ry square, all of you familiar. But according to criteria, because R, Rx is zero, so Rx is zero, so zero plus Ry square, take root of the both end, is R is equal to Ry. It means what is component acting up and down, that is my resultant. So I can say that Ry is what here? So the top force is very clear, F is this one. I can say the top is 28.3, uh, sorry, sine. I'll say here, sine. So sine 40 sine 40, and this is what, 25 sine 30. Okay, and these two force addition, this one minus, okay. So let's start. I can see here easily, so Ry is equals to 28.3 sine 40 and plus 25 sine 30 and minus 30. 
minus 30 come from here. Okay, so this will give me our y component. So let me find 28.3 into sine 40 and plus 25 times two sine 30. Okay, and minus 30, it is giving me R Y is coming 0 0.9608 or nine. So you know as R Y are same. So I can say that resultant for resultant uh, uh, is new resultant force become what 0 0.69. And uh, I think so. Let me check again. I think if I use this uh, this this better here. So for accuracy, I will use this one here. Uh, this one. So let me rub and write again. Let me see, maybe an answer effect comes here. Okay, look, I erase and I'm writing here, Ry is equals to 28.2, uh, 28.2629. Now better, let me check again now. And then I see that what answer effect comes now. So I make maybe accuracy come better. So 2629. So answer is coming zero point. Yeah, it changed. It's changed. Six, six, seven, uh, zero, four. And three S of we need, we know very well. So R, Y, R, Y, and R, same. So I can say that R is equal to 0 0.667 Newton. You saw, you saw as I use here four DPs at this value, my answer is affected. Okay, changed. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I think the idea is very clear and direction of the new component. He said what? Naturally, because Rx is zero, system is not going right and not going left. So where is going and this your R value is coming positive, it means it will go upwards. So, so the direction is of the final, the direction is equals to upwards. Upwards you can say, or you can say along, along y-axis, along y-axis or positive y axis better, okay? So I think so idea is very, very clear and that's it and question is completely, completely over.